So now we're officially moving them. You see we've Today's the day we're bringing all the moms, the bull, and the new calves home to HQ for the winter. And it doesn't look like winter, but it's Michigan and it could totally snow tomorrow. And so we have the pasture. You can just see the truck into the side of the truck. That's the bud box where we put oats as a draw for them to run to. Back out towards me we have where the animals actually are because why not go as far away as that just makes sense doesn't it yes because they like us to walk the cows want us exhausted they're scheming they're plotting or they're just cows and that's where they happen to be because how irony works so we've got our crew heading out that way right now we're going to use one border collie biscuit uh, she's going to actually go behind the not behind the fence but like right up along the fence to push them away from it if we did it ourselves we'd actually like like we push an animal through the fence and so border collies are really good for for that kind of stuff but we're just going to try to put them out a walk as much as we can and we're going to use that draw of the treat to see if they can kind of all excitedly run our way and we think that's going to be our best low stress way to get the animals from here to all the way over there and work cows before if a single one decides it's going to herd quit get distracted or do anything you usually lose the entire herd. So this is truly a 100% hope you do it right, or I'm gonna get my miles in. Anyway, here goes. See those ones in the front, hear her and they're moving that way. Russ is still in the back there, but the animals are more spread out than we'd like, but honestly it's a big enough pasture and oh, nope, they're running. Border Collie so far away, so they are truly just hearing her and they're taking off after. That is the benefit of training. You just keep doing the same thing, build up a habit, now the cows are thinking they're getting a treat, so they're excitedly running. I still say it's baby Gabby who's doing all the work personally, just give her credit. <laughs> the black and white cow at the far right, that's number two. She will probably be the first one there. At least that's just kind of the trend that we always see. There she is, running and uh, bucking, as she always does. Crystal up there, she's trying to keep them along the fence. Just eliminates the directions the cows can run, and I gotta get way over here on the left because I would actually split them standing where I was. So, Crystal up there. Are they running? Yes. Are they being pressured and scared? No, because the border collie is nowhere close. This is them just moving because they want to.
So this is our last group. You can call them the stubborn ones, or in this case, just the ones that haven't been trained to uh, move back and forth yet. Crystal and Russ are both on horseback, kind of working the flank, and I'm uh, zigzagging back and forth like this. So they see me in both of their eyes and think I'm actually two people as I'm just going back and forth to push them forward. Anyone that wants to move off into the right, the horses catch. And this way we can do it at a walk. So right now this is perfect. Just kind of that back and forth. See any animal in the front that starts to look to the right, you have to catch them beforehand. If they start to move right, it is far too late because once they start moving, it's, it's pretty much done. You're not gonna turn an animal once it's charged like that. And if they're starting to move, I need to drop back because I don't want to press them too much. It's this subtle back and forth, back and forth, which, see, they're not giving any pressure. They're just more or less reminding the cows. You want to keep them together? I'd say they're moving pretty good. See those baldies there on the left are looking back. So I got a little more pressure and yep, slow down. They're doing pretty well. So those baldies we've never worked before. Calves in the middle, of course, have no clue what's going on. So everything here could easily erupt into chaos, which is why we're trying to keep it as slow as we can. And like before, a single one breaks out of the group. So I'll follow. You go back, you chase the one that's left, which is pretty much a, the only thing you can do because you don't want to teach it to quit and leave, but then that leaves an opening for all the other ones to escape. You ignore the one that left, well, you end up rewarding the animal because you give him a break from pressure. And then all the other ones see the guy that's left and they want to chase. So it's, it's kind of a bad thing all around, but that's why we train them. We want to reward the right thing, make the right thing easy, which is to stay with the group, which is why I lax pressure. I'm not moving my flag at all, and it's just a, you know, kind of more of a sound maker, make myself appear a little bit bigger. And they're even getting a little bit far ahead of me, which kind of tells me I'm doing a little too much right now. So I'm going to slow down and go a little more to the right. That kind of ruined one in the front was angling right so I'm kind of moving this way because I want to be in its right eye. Horses are still doing a great job of kind of keeping them there so this truly is an ideal uh, situation right now knock on wood because the moment I get to the top of this hill usually one of them is going to want to turn and say yeah I'm done. Yep, okay, starting to run. It's a calf, it's just what they do. So I'm gonna slow down again, angle a little bit right. No, no, I am very Because we, we tried to push them a few times and they were sprinting off, doing their own thing. And maybe we need more people, maybe we need better training, maybe we need more dogs. It's always a what if, but we stopped what we're doing out of the horses. Yeah change the narrative rather than hitting your head against the wall which I guess at some point the wall is going to break but man that hurts so we'll just switched it up and now we've got a new idea all right so I know this is awkward but what are you going to do oh stay with the group okay that's cool a big reason to keep it slow. It's over 80 degrees right now. So, why well, run them? They get stressed. <laughs> we lose muscle mass. Well, we don't. The cows do, but that transfers right to the meat as well. So, this really has to be as slow as we can. It's well above the temperature for these animals to get overheated and start to stress. So, oh, yep. This is where they get geeked, going to the top of that hill. No, I'm just going to the side, because they're wanting to go right. Horses are picking up speed a little bit, now the horses apply pressure. And turn them back. Yeah, that's cool. It's like we're meaning it, it's weird. 
What's it? Something about when a plan comes together? It's okay, we're about to enter the backup plan of the backup plan. All right, they're stopping, they're looking at me. Horses watching them. I'm angling a little bit left because now I gotta push them because they're standing. I did, I slowed down again. There we go. So that hill, you can just see the crest of it there. That's gonna be our... Oh, oh, I did too much there, see? I got a little bit close, I didn't even do anything, just walked by him. And he decided it was time to jump. Keep everything slow. A little bit of a noise, because they're angling right. I'm gonna slow down. See how their heads are turned? That's not good. All right, they turn back, awesome. I slow down and reward it. They're angling we're left, which means they're looking at it going against this fence and turning back. So I'm now going left. Try to head them off. I'm moving my flag a little bit. They turned, I stop. Horse is in a good position. Oh, here we go, the top of the hill. where I tell the cows I really don't want to do cardio right now. Alright, that ball down the left is looking. Alright. We're just letting them stand. They're doing well. Reward it. Alright, I'm moving forward again. Just enough to get them to move. Move, turn, turn. Yep. One caps. You just see the blue truck way up there. That's our target. Right, let's see, I've got a little bit of a pickle here. They want to go way over there. The horse has got it. Look at that. Carefully, not just walk behind him, because I'll end up pushing him back and forth. Crisscross, zigzag, zigzag. See, usually it's one in the front that decides to stand. It's Pedro. Vote for him next time. Vote for Pedro. All white shorthorn there. His name's Big Mike. Yep. He was born good four months after those other ones. Same bull. Even for being about a month and a half old, man, he's already big. All right, back and forth. Not necessarily been going forward any faster, I'm just moving, look, that's all it took. Cows are like, battle lens, break apart. Sprint every direction and confuse them. No, the cows don't do that. They're just doing their own thing, I guess. So, see, we want to go up to the car. They're moving right, which in our case is actually a bad thing. So the horses are pushing forward a little bit right. Let's see if we can turn them. Now I'm moving this way. Now I really have to watch that side because that is our weak spot. Horses can probably get there in time, but I gotta be ready to pressure that side. If I drop the phone, just assume I panicked. It didn't work out. 
car. Uh oh, come on, come on. Ah, oh, we're good. One year we were doing this, and a couple of tourists parked up at the very top of the hill at the entrance and were just watching us. They had no idea they were the ones turning the cows. We get about a couple hours in, finally see they're just sitting at the top of the hill, and we're like, oh, thanks, guys. So they now see the fence. They now see there's not a place to walk. And now they're turning. Horses are pressuring. I'm going to slide a little bit left. So one of them did decide to sprint. And the rest just went right after on horseback. He just keeps her running. She stands, she gets rewarded. And we want her to learn it is fine to stay with the group. Which is what's funny with cows, because her gap's in there. She's choosing to not stand. She comes back, kind of pivotal time. They're all looking, saying, do I want to sprint to join that group? Because cows are dumb, and they think a small group is bigger than the other group. But, hey. All right, I'm backing up a little. Let new mom get in. Back up, dude. All right. Go left a little. You got it. Good. Come on. All right. Left, Jay. Left. Yeah, I see it. Yep, trying to stay away, keep away from a partner as well. Yeah. If I just keep it on the left side, do you think that's good? Yeah, you're, you're good. All right, because I, I was throwing it over right. I know that's not fine. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't terrible. But still, <laughs> flag, horse, yeah, new variable. See, they're all turning, which is good. And see they turn, drop back. Because that is exactly where I wanted to go. They're just spinning. Back and forth, back and Just forth. A little bit each time, tiny bit each time. Mm. Step in. Step in. Yeah. There you go. Half a foot. That's drop funny. back, drop back. Step in, Jordan. Back up, baby. Yep, I'm just moving back and forth. You caught me at a backup. Same one.
Yeah, they ain't proven that. Yeah, they ain't proven that. Turn these. Bring that panels around. All right, Jordan, let me get on that side then. All right. Crystal's going to come in, kind of prevent them from running through the flag, or running through the fence there. There we go. She's sliding along that fence. Doesn't want to push them through, and we're just putting the last group into the trailer. And then, home for winter. A lot of the same back and forth, but now it's a much smaller space. I mentioned that previous video, trying to get them into the trailer instead of this area would have been all the harder, so I like this space. And we get to do the same thing now at the other property, but back and forth. brought them back to base into the main arena now it's just a matter of pushing them back up through our main alleyway and up into the main pastures we're putting some of the bullpen and some in the kind of like main HQ area and kind of get you know, have them hunker down and have some snacks and just kind of you know, maintain or get fat for winter so, so stay tuned we still got all the steers and our other pasture to work as well but one thing, especially with this today, slower we made it, easier it was, and man, those those horses helped. All right, see you later. <laughs> 